Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing my January book haul, and as you can tell by the screen cap, whatever, at the beginning, it is going to be a big book haul. I am starting 2015 off huge. Um, chapters had some good sales, and I got most of these pretty cheap, so I don't have any regrets. Um, I do plan on getting rid of a lot of books in 2015, but none of these. So let's get right into the book haul so it's not too long. So the first five books I picked up when I went to donate some books to... It's almost like a charity shop, but not really. All the money goes to the hospital. Um, so I donated over 130 books there, and... I picked up five because they were five I really wanted and they were cheap and the money went to a good cause so so the first one I got there was a thousand cuts by Simon Lelick this is a book I've been wanting to read for so long it wasn't the cover I necessarily wanted but it was cheap and I mean it's decent for a few dollars I can't really complain when it's something I've wanted to get for a long time so I think this is like a school shooting but it is the teacher that kind of commits it. So I'm really into like psychological and sociological things like that. So I can't wait to read this and I'm sure it's going to be fantastic. Then I got All the Truth That's In Me by Julie Berry. This is another book I've been wanting for so long. It is much shorter than I thought it was. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but this is about a girl who four years ago she and her best friend disappeared and then two years later only she returns. So. She's kind of like silent and I think that's just kind of like uncovering what happened and yeah. I don't know. I don't really want to know too much about it because it does seem so mysterious but that's just what I've gathered from the brief parts of the synopsis I've read. So I've heard fantastic things about it and I can't wait to read it for myself. Then I got Blood Red Road by Maury Young. I'm not too sure what this is about just that when I started booktubing about two years ago or so maybe a little bit after that, this was so popular. Everybody was talking about this book and yeah, so like I said, I don't know too much about it. I just know that it does have a very odd writing style and some people don't like it for that reason and some people love it for that reason. So I want to go into it blind and I'll see what happens. Then I got Fallout by Todd Strasser. I have read a couple of his other books and I did enjoy them. So on the back of this one it says, what if the bomb had actually been dropped? What if your family was the only one with a shelter? So this is a book set in 1960s and there's the threat of war and just potential bombings and all that stuff and this one guy's family is the only one that is prepared. So it is very short and I'm sure it'll be a quick read. And then the last one I got from that little charity shop was The Tragedy Paper by Elizabeth Laban. I can't say I know much about this book. The cover is what first intrigued me and then I did hear a lot of good things about it so I want to go into it completely blind and just learn as it goes. The only thing on the back is like a letter. So I'm just not going to read it. And then I will show you the books that I got for Christmas before I show you the books that I got from Chapter Sale because I'm excited about all of them but I'm kind of going in the order that I received them. So the first one I received was from a family friend. Where did it go? It's such a tiny book, it got lost in my pile. So he gave me The Gift of Akbar by Og Mandino and this is a book he loves and I hadn't read so I'm so excited to read this because he does have very good literary taste. He reads a lot of very classical things kind of. Like I started reading Ernest Hemingway because of him and I really enjoyed The Old Man and the Sea. So thank you and I can't wait to read this. I'm sure it's going to be fantastic just based off of your recommendation. So my mom, who you all know, I love so very much. She's done so many things for me. She got me a bunch of books that I was dying to have. So thank you mom. You know how much I care about you and oh, she got me Revival by Stephen King. <laughs> I'm so excited. I don't even really want to know what it's about <laughs> because I'm sure it's going to be great and I just, I can't wait. I can't wait. And then I don't even know what order to show them in because I'm so excited about all of them. <laughs> she also got me Girl Online by Zoe Sugg, Zoella, who I love. 
Um, luckily I got to see her last October? The October before. So October 2013 I went to Digifest in Toronto and she was there and she's even cuter in person. Just uh. So I thought that was, was kind of like autobiographical but it's not. She actually wrote a story and I can't wait to read it. I can't wait to take it to school and read it and I'm just so excited. I relate to her so much so I can't wait to see what she has to say in her book. And she also got me the Burn for Burn trilogy box set. So it has all three books in it with the matching covers. So the first one is Burn for Burn, Fire, Fire with Fire, and Ashes to Ashes. So I read fantastic things about this trilogy. I did already own the first one, but she knows how I feel about matching covers. So thank you. I'm so excited to read this. The second one is massive. Oh my goodness. I did not realize it was so large. <laughs> and yeah, I can't wait to read these. And then the last two she got me left me speechless. So she got me The Crucible by Arthur Miller, which is something I've been wanting to read for so long. So I can't believe she got it in this nice edition. And then also a really nice addition, she got me The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath. I have never seen this in hardcover, so ugh, it's going to look so nice on my shelf and I can't wait to read it. So I'm just, I'm speechless. I just, I'm so excited. And then from my grandmother amidst other things, she got me Michelle Fawn's book, which is Make Up Your Life Guide to Beauty Style and Success Online and Off another beauty guru that I love and I've been watching for years so I was following her videos and stuff when she talked about it and her Instagram videos when she like summarized every chapter and I wanted it so badly so I'm so excited to have it and I was not expecting to get it from her so or to get it at all I should say so thank you grandma not like she watches these videos <laughs> so then Chapters was having, as part of their Boxing Week sale, 30% off all hardcovers. It goes until January 4th, so if you have a Chapters, you should go. I went twice, <laughs> and so I'm going to show you which books I got in each part, and they were so cheap. I was so surprised how much 30% really comes to, and I have one of the plum cards, so my points just kept racking up. And yeah, so I can't wait to show you the books I got. So the first one that I picked up is This Shattered World by Amy Coffin and Megan Spooner. Yes, I did receive an art copy of this, but it's a paperback. And I have these Broken Stars and hardcovers, so selfishly, I wanted them to match on my shelf. But since it was 30% off, I didn't really mind too much. Plus it is so pretty. I can't wait to read this series. This one, I admit, I did hesitate about picking up because it is a sequel. It is a sequel and I read the first one and I didn't care too much for it, but I did read it during a not so great time in my life. I mean, and the sequel isn't supposed to come out till January 8th or so, January 2nd maybe, and that is Firefight by Brandon Sanderson. So, when I saw it there, I kind of thought, "Hmm, that's not supposed to be out yet." So, I don't know if I'll give it another chance. And I'll read the sequel and I'll see what I feel happens next, but it wasn't bad, so I feel like it was probably just the moments in which I was reading it. And yeah, so I want to give it a second chance. <laughs> I'm so excited about all these books. I'm probably going to give like the worst descriptions ever just because of excitement. But I got The Girl with All the Gifts by M.R. Carey. I have been wanting to read this book since before it came out. When my friend Keisha was reading the synopsis and stuff to me, I wanted to read it. And I thought it was YA, so the fact that it's not makes me more excited because I do want to read more adult books this year. Anyway, so I'll just read the synopsis on here. It is a thriller, so it says, Every morning, Melanie waits for her cell in her cell to be collected for class. When they come for her, Sergeant Parks keeps his gun pointing at her while two of his people strap her into the wheelchair. She thinks they don't like her. She jokes that she won't bite, but they don't laugh. Melanie is a very special girl. Next one I got is Endgame, The Calling by James Fry and now Nils Johnson Shelton. Every time I look at this book, I want to pick it up. Not too sure what it's about. And I'm excited about that because I like going into books blind. But at the top, it says, Endgame is real, Endgame is now. So. 
Who do you cover? And then I picked up Quarantine the Burnouts by Lex Thomas. I believe this is the third book in the Quarantine trilogy. Um, this is about kind of kids that get locked in their school. I do have the other books in the series, but this one is the shortest. So I wanted to marathon read them and now I can. And then finally in that trip to chapters, I picked up three bargain books, which did not count towards the 30% off, but they were just books I wanted to read, so I didn't really care. And the first one is Earthbound by April and Pike. I've been wanting to read this book since Keisha picked it up when we were in Washington, D.C. And that was well over a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago. I'd gotten it out of the library and I didn't have time to read it, so I had to return it. And from what I remember, this book is about a girl who was in a plane crash and she was one of the only survivors and she thought it was just fate, but now she's kind of led to believe that it was on purpose. So, I can't wait. And I know there's a sequel, so I think it's just a duology, but you never know with YA. <laughs> and then I picked up Origin by Jessica Corey, and the only thing I know about this book is what it says on the tagline, and that is, The Jungle Hides a Girl Who Cannot Die. That's all I'm going to leave you with. And then, finally, if you watched my wrap-up, then this book will make sense to you. But I got Janie Face to Face by Carolyn B. Cooney. This is the fifth and final book in the Janie Johnson series. I've read the first two in December and this was the only one I needed to complete it. It is a young adult thriller book about a girl who finds her missing picture on the side of a milk carton from 12 years ago. So it's very good. It's very different and very fast paced. So if you like thrillers and mysteries, I recommend you pick up this series. And then on my second trip to chapters, I got Golden Sun by Pierce Brown. I recently bought Red Rising, but it hasn't been delivered yet, but I do own it technically and it's a series I've been wanting to start for a very long time since when I first got to university my roommate across the hall like threw it at me and told me that I had to read it because it was one of his favorites ever and unfortunately I didn't have time to read it so I wanted to buy my own copy and these covers are so gorgeous. I'm not sure too much of what it's about but like I said I've heard fantastic things around the board so I can't wait to read it. I picked up The Vow by Jessica Martinez and I'm pretty sure my friend Geraldine read this as a review copy but I keep seeing it and I pick it up and then at the last minute I put it back but it is a contemporary about a girl and a guy who are friends and I believe the guy yeah he is here because his father or he's in America because his father works there and then he loses his job so he has to like go back to his original country so they decide hey if we get married you can stay and then it kind of goes on like that and I think it's gonna be really cute and then I picked up The Boy Who Drew Monsters by Keith Donahue I thought this was YA because it was in the YA section but it's actually not somebody had just put it down there and this is another thriller about a guy or a kid a 10 year old who is kind of lonely and isolated so he draws pictures of monsters and these monsters start to come to life. And this cover. I can't wait to read it. It's very short so it should be a very quick read. I got The Testing by Joel Charbonneau. Not sure what this is about. I've heard it's similar to The Hunger Games. I know this is a finished trilogy and I just picked up the first one. It's a book I've been curious about for a while so can't wait to read it. Then I think the only book in this haul that I have read is The Stonekeeper, the first book in the Amulet series by Kazu Kibushi. This is a graphic novel that I discussed more in my wrap up, but basically I really enjoyed it and it is a middle grade but a darker middle grade. So if you're into action, adventure, and mystery, I recommend you pick up this series up. That one obviously didn't count for the 30% off because it's hardcovers, but it's just something I wanted. <laughs> And then I got The Fall by Bethany Griffin. Um, I briefly read the synopsis of this in chapters because I'd seen some people haul it and what stuck out to me was this girl in the story wakes up in a coffin. So I'll read you what it says on the back since it's short. It says, the house knows everything. The house sees everything, hears everything, knows your every desire and your every thought and the house will never ever let you go. I'm really into dark books around this time of the year so can't we read this one as well? Um, and then I picked up Hex by Michelle Cries, Chris. Um, I think Ben from Benjamin of Tomes talks about this book a lot and 
I just know that it's about witches. I've read Wex, I've read Hex Hall and I really enjoyed it. So I hope to enjoy this one. The second to last book I got on that trip to chapters was Naomi and Eli's No Kiss List by David Levithan and Rachel Kahn. I wanted to get the other books they have in this edition, which I believe is Nick and Orr's Infinite Playlist and Dash and Lily's Book of Dares, but I own both of those books, so if I read this one and enjoy it, then I will buy the matching ones. But yeah, I enjoy when they write together, so hopefully I'll like this one as well. And then the last book I got during that trip to chapters, even though I have a few other ones to show you from after, um, I got The Murder Complex by Lindsay Cummings, which is a book I've wanted forever. People hype this book up so much, and I was desperate to get it. I've taken it out of the library twice, but never got around to reading it. And what I know from this is that the murder rate is higher than the birth rate. I'm so excited. And then I just have a handful of books I've picked up from different bookshops since, and Kohl's and all that other stuff. So I finally got Prisoner of Night and Fog by Anne Blackman. I know this takes place in World War II, so it's historical fiction. And I think she's, I think the girl in this it lives in Germany or she's German and she falls in love with a Jewish boy. And it's during the Holocaust, so that's not gonna go well. Um, yeah, I can't wait to read it. I've been dying for it for so long. And then I also got All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr. Uh, I've been wanting this book for a while, but it actually won the Goodreads Award for Historical Fiction, and one of my goals for 2015 is to read all the books that won the Goodreads Award in the different categories. So I can't wait to get to this one in 2015. Then I got Demon Glass and Spellbound by Rachel Hawkins to complete my little Hex Hall trilogy. I read Hex Hall and I loved it. So I've been wanting to continue on with this series and I can't wait. I've started Demon Glass. I did read one time when I got out of the library up to like chapter 5 or so but I'm just going to start over because it is so great. And then these last three are some of the ones I'm most excited for. I picked up Impulse by Ellen Hopkins um, when I was trying to still reach my Goodreads goal for 2014 which I did not reach. I was trying to pick up some of the quickest books I could read and I thought Ellen Hopkins would be quick but I just never got to it. So I know this one is about three kids that have one thing in common and that is attempting suicide. So that is something that will strike very close to home for me and I can't wait to read it and see what happens. I picked up Seconds by Brian Lee O'Malley. I have read the first four books in the Scott Pilgrim series. They were okay but you know Canadian authors, I'm pretty sure he's Canadian since Scott Pilgrim is set in Toronto and he depicts Toronto very well. So. I just love the look of this one, how the dust jacket doesn't cover the whole book and then when you take it off it's like designed and stuff. It is a very well made book and I can't wait to read it. And then finally one of the best books in the haul, which is one I finally got around to picking up, is Grace's Guide, The Art of Pretending to Be a Grown Up by Grace Helbig. I love Grace Helbig. I think she's amazing. I'm like 95% sure she and Chester C are dating and I love that because I love Chester C. I think they're so cute together. And yeah, so it's kind of like just a guide. There's lots of pictures and lots of color and I think it's going to be a great read so I can't wait to bring this to school with me and read little bits at a time. So that is all the books I accumulated in December. It's a lot of books. So. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you've read any of the many books that I talked about, what you thought of them, or some of the books you got. Tell me what you got for Christmas if you want, which books you're excited for, and yeah, I'll see you guys soon with a new video. Have a great month. Bye!